Thank you for joining us for the Two Minute Drills. I'm Aram Talegian, San Gabriel Valley Newspaper Group football writer, joined by the Wizard of Whitt Whittier, Whittier Daily News, Prep Sports Editor. <laughs> I like that, Dave the Wizard Felt of Whittier. D Felt. Yeah, you like that, Freddie? I, I do. Yeah, That's like what that. he's become. Yeah, the Wizard uh, of Whittier. We have the game of the year, arguably, uh, in the entire area, at least for the non league. Um, certainly for the Whittier side of town, uh, but maybe even for all three zones that we cover. Two heavyweights going at it, uh, Dave. Friday night at La Mirada High School. La Mirada hosting La Habra. La Habra started the season last week with a big win at El Toro. I think it was at El Toro. It was versus El Toro, yeah. Okay. And I think it was at Tribuco Hills, but they, definitely, they okay. beat them 26-3 to and uh, dominated the game. Um, La Mirada obviously did not in it. So they lost to right. Tesoro, big 43-14 uh, to right. in, in a game where they just committed way too many turnovers and way too many penalties. Yeah, yeah. That's been kind of the talk uh, of the of the week so far. Um, the fallout from that La Mirada game, that you know, the whole off season, you know, a lot of people know that you know um, the La Mirada coaching staff does an excellent job of promoting its program, promoting its top recruits. Um, but when you do that, uh, for whatever reason, it does attract attention from other people to say, "Hey, we can't wait to knock these guys off," or "Hey, we can't wait to say something when they falter." Um, and that's what's happened here. A lot of people are giving La Mirada heat this week. There's some blood in the water right now, absolutely. And, and it, it, it's going to be an interesting week for La Mirada to see how they respond. I mean, Tesoro is a good team. That's a that's a Pac-5 team. It's not yeah. like they lost a, you know, a, a nobody. Um, but, but yeah, they're a high-profile program, and, but, and, well, and, there's, and there's some pressure that comes along with that. Absolutely. Yeah, my, my whole thing about the Tesoro loss is when you have a, a D1 quarterback throwing to a D1 wide receiver with a D1 tight end and a D1, you know, offensive lineman, um, you know, no matter what division you're in, you shouldn't. You know, you can lose on the road to a Pac-5 team, and that's fine. And let's not con let's not you know get Tesoro confused with one of the Pac-5 favorites. But when you get blown out by that team um, and you play as sloppy as La Mirada did, there's no way to slice it other than that. That is extremely disappointing. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's the, that's exactly what what Mike Machetti co uh, talked to me about on uh, on Saturday morning when I when I when I talked with him after the game. Uh, very disappointed with the way they, they played and, and their expectations were I think much you, higher than that. I think Aaron, you pointed out too in your blog. It, it it wasn't that you don't have an issue with the loss. It was the way they lost, right? Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Losing to Tesoro, fine. Okay. I mean, you know, like I said, they they are technically stepped up in competition against a Pac-5 team. But you know, if you went by recruiting services, you'd be wondering, hey, who's the Pac-5 team here? You know, um, they would probably be Lamar if you went by all recruits. Now I know you got to have players one through eleven. Uh, and not just four on you know, each side. Well, I went through fifty. <laughs> you well, need depth. Yeah, and, and and maybe they don't have that. Maybe maybe that's gonna you know, and maybe they are vulnerable. Who knows? We're gonna find out this week. But the good news for La Mirada is you beat La Habra this week, and all the hating goes away, and Absolutely. everyone's got to give you your due. Absolutely. But beating La Habra is 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 quite a challenge because of guys like uh, Toa Lobendon on the line and Greg Gaines on the line. Um, La Habra, uh, they got a lot of guys in this year. They've improved their talent level. Um, they're a very talented team. Absolutely, I saw them in a, in a scrimmage a couple of weeks ago. Even without their their two best offensive linemen and Gaines playing, uh, not playing that night as well, they looked very good. And uh, they they beat uh, uh, El Toro handily the other day. Um, they've got just as La Mirada does. They got recruits up and down the up and down the roster, and and they're a, a legitimate team. They're number two in their playoff division in the Southwest. Uh, La Mirada fell to number four this this week in the. In the southeast, which is saying something, because you know the southeast is is, oh boy, I mean it's not extremely deep with teams that you would consider you know um, certain championship caliber. You have La Mirada, you have Downey, the defending champion. Um, you have a Lucerna that was in the finals last and year. Norwalk as well, and Norwalk yeah, and, well. and I guess Norwalk. You know, I, I don't know. I I don't consider them on the level of those teams. But what I'm saying is those those teams. They appear to be the front, but then you have all these other teams, Santa Fe, Los Altos, you know, any of the Hacienda League teams really, uh, maybe the Pacific League winner. They all kind of fit into this next clump. So um, for La Mirada to go down to four in the, in the southeast, I don't quite agree with that. I still think they're easily top three and probably still the team to beat. Um, Defelt, let's get into who's going to win this game, man. W what do you think here? Last year was a competitive game. Um, this year I'm expecting another competitive game. Who do you got and, and why? I think I'm going to go with La Habra in this one. Um, I think it's going to be a close game, but I think they're going to win the. I think they will win it. Um, probably pull it out late, maybe win by less than a touchdown. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go with La Habra as well. I do expect mm. that 
that La Mirada will Oof. come with a much tighter effort. I think this will be a very, very wow. good game. Um, I, I, I'm not sure La Habra is, is where it needs to be in the skill spots to run away from a team like this quite yet. I, I think there's some inexperience there, but talent. Um, but they're good to go on the line spots. So I, I, I'm going to take uh, La Habra also. Freddie, oh, you seem to... Well, I'm just seeing Machete Owen, too. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that would really be... <laughs> that would make for another interesting week wow. uh, next week if, if that comes yeah, true. Absolutely. What's um, next? The loss to La Serna? Oh, they don't play La Serna, yeah. but... Well, <laughs> maybe not in the playoffs. <laughs> not, uh, not yet. Not yeah. Yet. Who, who thought they would be number three of the Laws in Whittier area? I mean... Yeah, that's, that's strange. <laughs> but, you know, what are you going to do? Other teams keep winning, and right. that's, that's how it goes. Okay, so we both have La Habra, which means La Mirada is looking pretty good on Friday night when they're at home and they're hosting La Habra. Get out there. This is the game of the year, at least for the non-league, maybe for the whole season in the Whittier area. Enjoy it.